Welcome to this new Visual Basic lesson. In today's lesson, we will learn about the two upper, two lower, and concat functions. I have this new project open. I'm going to come here to this button, double click it to create a click event. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say dim str string as string equals visual basic okay then I'm gonna display that in the message box I'm gonna say message box that show and I'm gonna say str string okay let's uh, save it run it okay I click and there it is. It shows me my string text. Okay, I'm gonna convert this string text to uppercase. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here and say that to upper. Okay, run it again. I come here and now it's uppercase. Okay, close this. Alright, I'm gonna comment this out. And now I'm going to turn the string to lowercase. So I'm going to say message box that show str string dot to lower, which is this function right here. Okay, uh, run it. And uh, when I click the button, we should see the V and the B. Uh, converted to lowercase and there they are so they are converted to lowercase all right I can also do this comment this out and bring this here press ctrl C ctrl V I'm gonna use another function which uh, does the same thing so I'm gonna come here and say U case and and this will do the same thing it will convert my string to uppercase so I'm gonna save run it bring this here and there it is it does the same thing okay I'm gonna comment this out and press ctrl V again and I'm gonna remove this come here and say L case and this will convert my string to lowercase so I'm gonna bring it here click and there it is it's converted to lowercase the next thing I'm gonna work with is the concatenate function and basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click here doesn't seem to be working I'm gonna come here and do the following say dim str word one up oh, word one as string equals okay I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna call this word 2 I'm gonna call this word 3 okay equals basic and come here and say is awesome okay and now instead of concatenating using the concatenation operators all I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the function so what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say me that LBL concatenate that text equals now I'm gonna use the function I'm gonna say string that concatenate this one now I'm gonna say str words 
or word one, then SCR word two, which is this one, and lastly STR word three. All right, let's see how this works. I'm going to save all and run it. So when I come here, we should see the result here in this label. And there it is. So this is how we can use the concatenate function to concatenate our string variables. All right, it is very important to remember that the string object is immutable. Like we said in the last lesson, we cannot change the string value. So every time you use one of the methods in the system that string class, you basically create a new string object in memory, which requires a new allocation of space for that new object. Okay, now to prove that this didn't change, for example, I'm going to come here and comment this out. And if I go uh, this one, okay, and then I go message box that show, then I go str string, you will see actually it did not change. So I'm going to run it. The first time is going to convert it to uppercase, this one, okay there it is now if I click OK it's gonna go back to the way it was and there it is so these and these are two different string objects they have different memory space and uh, in order to keep this converted to save it and be able to utilize it we have to do the following so I'm gonna come here and say str string equals str string that to upper okay now it's converted now it's gonna keep its value so if I do this all right this is gonna be converted now to uppercase there it is okay or I can also do the following string equals str string that to upper all right now I'm gonna show X now we are saving it in a different string object okay if I do this it's gonna show me X uppercase and there it is okay and basically with this we come to the end of this lesson I would like to thank you for watching and you have a good day.